Hey friend, Colin here from Something's Recording, and today I'm gonna to show you how to mix organ to cut through the mix. Today we're gonna to be looking at getting organ to cut through a track using distortion. And this is gonna help you make sure you can hear your organ track even if you have a whole bunch of other stuff going, which we do in this track here today. But before we dive into the mix, if you're ready to go a little bit deeper into the mixing process in its entirety and really start to hone your workflow as an audio engineer, then I have just the thing for you. It is my seven step mixing checklist and it's just a simple PDF that will walk you through the entire mixing process step by step to help you get professional and radio ready mixes without any more of the hassle and without any more of the guesswork. It is a completely free guide and you can get access to that by clicking the link below in the video description. Now let's jump in here and take a look at this track. So this is a cover of a song uh, by Peter Gabriel called Sludge Hammer. Hopefully this video doesn't get taken down because I said that or because I play this track here. We're gonna be looking at the main organ track at the end of this song. So I'm gonna scroll through here. You can see there is a lot of stuff going on. Full drum kit, bass guitar, a few electric guitars. We've got horns, couple organs, we've got piano, we've got the flute, and then we've got a large stack of vocals and background vocals going on as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this track, but we still wanna hear our organ. Let me hit play and you can hear this section of the song and then I'll solo up our organ. You can hear what it's doing as well. So you can hear the organ is panned off to the left, which helps us hear it a little bit more in the mix to begin with. It has some separation from even just the rest of the keys elements that are going on, but we still want it to cut through in this track and have a little bit of energy and a little bit of grit to it. So let me take off all the plugins here. I'll flip back to mono so we can hear it in the center. Here's just our raw organ track, uh, no processing. So you can hear it's a little tame. It doesn't quite have the energy we want in this track, especially on the ending section. There's a lot of stuff going on. Everything is very high power and very high energy. We wanna add that to the organ as well. So it contributes to the big climax of this track at the ending on the outro here. So the first thing I reached for was red light distortion here inside of Studio One. Let me turn this on here. I'm cranking the drive up about halfway here. We're at 5.17 on the drive. We've got two on the distortion, two on the input. So we're pushing a little bit harder on the way into the distortion plugin as well. No, no low pass, no high pass, nothing going on there. I do have it running on the hard tube setting. So it's a little bit more gritty and it's a little bit more intense than uh, the soft tube setting. That way we get some more energy out of it. 100% mix here. I'm pulling the output all the way down because we're cranking the drive up here and we are on the hard tube setting and I'm running it on the second stage. So a little bit more intense here than the first stage. We're running on a hard tube, running it on the second stage so we get that energy and we get that kick out of the red light distortion. So here's without it and then I'll kick it in. You can hear it's giving us that breakup on especially those higher notes there. It doesn't change the tone too much of the organ. It doesn't mess too much with the frequencies, although it doles out or relaxes the low end of the organ a little bit, which is helpful, especially going into our EQ and into our compressor here that we're gonna throw on. But it really gives us that breakup on the top end that's gonna help us hear this organ inside the rest of the track. So listen one more time here without, and then I'll kick it in. Pay attention to how the high frequencies react. Thank you. 
The nice thing that you also get from throwing on the red light distortion plugin like this is it does even everything out, especially on the second setting here, the second stage on hard tube, and then cranking up the drive. It'll give you that subtle level of compression because technically that's what our over compression is, right? When we're slamming into a compressor, you end up getting distortion out of it. So when we're distorting here, we actually are evening out all of the volume on this organ track here, which is nice. It helps us stay present inside the track. The next thing we're doing here is we're throwing on some EQ. I'm gonna roll off some of the bottom end here, and then emphasize some of the high mid frequencies here. This high mid area from like 2K to 5K, that's what you wanna hear on an organ track. That's that organ sound, that's especially that rock organ sound. Anything higher than that, above like five or 6K, it starts to just become noise on an organ track, and anything below that starts to give you that kind of nasally sort of sound. So two, three, four, 5K is gonna give you that nice high mid frequencies on your organ that you wanna emphasize. So take a listen here. Rolling off some bottom end here. Our high pass is up at 182. I don't need the low end coming from the organ. We have some lower notes in there, but that's not what I wanna hear from the organ track. We're getting that from our bass. We're getting that from our piano. We're getting some of that from our horns as well. I just wanna hear this high mid. That's what I'm emphasizing here. So rolling off some of the bottom end, giving a two and a half dB boost at 3K here. Take a listen without and then with. So there's a couple things going on here. We're shifting the frequency range around a little bit, going away from that heavy bottom end and emphasizing more of this high mid frequency, but we're also evening out the volume in a way with our frequency change here. By rolling down some of the low end here, we keep the organ more even because we kind of get this boost of energy when the low end hits. So when that bottom note hits, suddenly the volume jumps on the organ because we get more energy from the bottom end. So by rolling some of that off, when we do hit those lower notes, there's not a sudden jump in volume on the organ. It stays even across the board and we emphasize that high mid energy that's gonna help our organ cut through in the track. The last thing we're doing here is we're throwing on some compression. I like to throw this on organ. Even though this is panned, sometimes it feels like this, this Fairchild emulation, this FC670, gives me some width on an organ track, especially a stereo organ track like this. Even though it's panned, it feels like it pushes things out wider, and it also gives me some nice analog vibe, as well as helping to even out. You can see when these bigger hits happen here, it's gonna keep our organ even, so as we pull it up, it's gonna sit right where we want it on the left side of the track here. So here's without, and then I'll kick our compressor in. I love using this on organ because to me it does feel like it emphasizes that high mid frequency range a little bit more as we push into this, especially pulling up the input gain. So on this what I'm doing is I'm bumping up the input gain a couple clicks here. I've got the threshold pinned all the way up. I've got the time constant all the way down. So we're running this as fast as possible and it's just knocking down those bigger peaks almost three dB. So maybe two, almost three dB here. It's not much. It just gives us the vibe of this vintage style compressor and it helps to give us some width as well. I always feels like it all, I always feel like, excuse me, that the Fairchild emulation pushes things out a little bit wider and then it emphasizes that high mid frequency range. So take a listen now, everything on our organ tracks. So we've got our distortion, we've got our little bit of EQ and then we've got our compressor going. Here's width and then I'll take them out. That's by itself. Let me throw it inside the track here. Take a listen. Our organ is panned off to the left here. I'll go back to stereo for our track and you can hear what a difference it makes inside the track. So with, and then I'll take it out.
can hear, and you can, if you notice, if you look down here on our organ, the volume doesn't change so much of the organ. The tone changes on our organ. We add more energy in our high mid frequency. We even things out with our compressor and we add a ton of energy with just this little bit of grit that we add to our organ using our red light distortion. So getting our organ to cut through the mix, just a couple steps here. Adding a touch of distortion using red light distortion, running it on the second stage here on hard tube. Then we have our EQ emphasizing this high mid frequency at 3K and rolling off some of the heavier stuff in the bottom end that we don't need to contribute to the organ sound. And then just a touch of compression here, only about two dB reduction going on, but we're taking advantage of the input gain here to drive the compressor and get some of the color and get some of the tone shift that we get from it as well. I hope that was helpful for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're ready to take your mixes to the next level and really start dialing in your workflow as an audio engineer, then I have just the tool for you and it is completely free. It is my seven step mixing checklist and you can get free access to the download by clicking the link below in the video description. It's gonna help you get more professional mixes in less time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Music